Welcome to Small Screens Sanctum Sanctorum. It seems like all the conversation surrounding Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness has to do with all the cameos people are hoping for. Shut the front door. Will we get the X-Men in the MCU finally? What about the Fantastic Four? Wolverine? Deadpool? Big Wheel? Well, we're going to go through all the cameos that have been confirmed and rumored. So obviously potential spoilers here, but you already knew that since you're here watching. And as always, if you could like, subscribe, and crack that notification bell to give the algorithm gods their due, we would greatly appreciate it. Right, let's start off with the confirmed cameos. Mephisto. Ahem. <coughs> Professor Xavier. Sir Patrick Stewart. We learned from the first Doctor Strange 2 trailer that Professor Xavier makes a return, played by none other than Sir Patrick Stewart. Tis be! One thing we're almost sure of is that he's a member of the Illuminati, as shown in the trailer. But the question is, will he be Xavier from the Fox universe, or a variant from another universe? Or is he Professor X from the animated television show? We got a glimpse of his yellow chair from that series in the latest TV spot. Speaking of that TV spot, Captain Carter, Haley Atwell. Yes, it's freaking awesome! We're getting a live-action Captain Carter and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We got our first hint that she would be in the film when they released the official poster showcasing her shield. And now with the latest TV spot, we're shown a quick glimpse of her in action. Captain Carter first debuted on Disney Plus's What If, and we think they're continuing right where Peggy Carter left off in that animated series. Remember Shuma Garath? That monster with all the tentacles that Captain Carter defeated at the cost of her being taken with it? Yep, it looks like Doctor Strange 2 will pick up with both of them showing up. We already knew Shuma Garath was in the film from the first official teaser, so it makes sense for this to be the way to bring Captain Carter into this universe. America Chavez, Sochil Gomez. This marks the first on-screen appearance of America Chavez. Not much is known on the angle Marvel is taking with the character, or what changes they made to her powers. But what we do know, judging by the trailers, is she's featured prominently in the film. Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Yes, another rumor about Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine. Alas, if there's any property for him to make a cameo appearance, it would be this one. Especially since a certain Canadian and his director friend have been trying to get him on board for a certain upcoming movie. A third film in a certain franchise? Yes, yeah, so it would make sense to have Hugh Jackman's Wolverine make a cameo. Go f*** yourself. Especially now that Professor X is back. This would leave the door open for him to appear in... Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds. Yep, it's well known that Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool 3 director Sean Levy want to get Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine for Deadpool 3. So an appearance by Wolverine and Deadpool in Doctor Strange 2 is actually quite believable. It's been rumored for some time that Ryan Reynolds would be popping up in Doctor Strange 2, and it wouldn't be a stretch with what we will be coining as the multiverse excuse from now on. Anyone can show up because of this. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. With that said, when the first Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness poster was released, fans were quick to point out what they thought was Deadpool in it. Is it Deadpool, or are they reaching? You decide. Heavy spoilers. Spoiler Man. James, I have told you I am not doing your Doctor Strange 2 video unless you send over 10 grand. Don't know how much more clearer I can make myself, and I have to tell you every time, send over the money and I'll do it. Oh, right, okay, it's it's coming. Great. Yeah, right, okay, that's that's went in the account. Oh, th yeah, great, thanks. I l love being part of this channel. Um, really, really excited to be on board with it. Thanks so much for sending through the money. Duh. No, we, no, we have a bit of back and forth, but yeah, great, great. Love working with you and a massive, massive, massive supporter of Big Screen. So, excited to be involved. Shouldn't be doing the, the hand movements, but... <clears throat> Moving on. Magneto. Ian McKellen or Michael Fassbender? Continuing with the X-Men, we have Magneto. Will it be Ian McKellen or Michael Fassbender? Well, the rumor mill is heavily leaning on Michael Fassbender showing up, but with Sir Patrick Stewart in the sequel, it could easily be Ian McKellen. Why do you come here, Charles? Or why not both? Quicksilver. Evan Peters. Will the real Ralph Boner please stand up? Ralph... Boner? Boner. Fans were kind of upset about how Quicksilver was treated in WandaVision. We're putting that mildly. <laughs> Did Marvel have a plan all along to rectify this? Will Quicksilver get his due in Doctor Strange 2? Out of all these cameos, this one seems very probable since it ties directly to Wanda's character arc. And as an added bonus, it would do justice to Quicksilver, not Ralph Boner. Sorry, Boner. <laughs> the X-Men. OG or First Class? Why not? Let's bring both teams back. Why not? Let's put everyone in the movie! Mr. Fantastic, John Krasinski. 
One of the most talked about fan castings ever has been John Krasinski as Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic. Keep it quiet. It's no secret a Fantastic Four movie is in development over at Marvel Studios. Unbelievable. And even though Emily Blunt has confirmed she's not playing Sue Storm, John Krasinski has been very vocal about wanting to play a character in the MCU. But in Doctor Strange 2? Uh, okay. Well, it could be a good way to introduce him to audiences. However, this conflicts with our reports of casting. But he could still lead the team, and the rest could be relatively unknown actors. Personally, we want him as Reed Richards. Black Bolt. Anson Mount. This is another rumor that shocked us at first, but then made sense. If you take a look at Marvel's trajectory lately with giving excellent actors who were in mishandled productions a chance to redeem themselves through fan service, Spider-Man No Way Home is a prime example, it would be great to see Anson Mount back as kick-ass Black Bolt in Doctor Strange 2. He's an excellent actor and Black Bolt is a great character. It's a shame that Inhumans was such a travesty. It's painful. Didn't watch it? Don't worry, we did so you don't have to. Who greenlit that? If you want to find out why it was so bad and what made it so bad, the video link is in the description. To the mines you go. Daredevil, Charlie Cox or Ben Affleck? Okay, so Charlie Cox already appeared in Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes, he wasn't in full Daredevil garb, but there's a good chance he could show up here. Marvel has already started priming the audience for his return, so a cameo seems very likely. What about Ben Affleck? Is it worth endangering people in the interest of saving money? Well, for the same reasons as Anson Mount, and with the multiverse excuse, it's definitely a possibility. With that said, if we were to bet, we'd bet on Charlie Cox. I'm a really good lawyer. Ghost Rider, Nick Cage or Norman Reedus? When we heard the Nick Cage rumor, we immediately thought that would be awesome. I mean, who doesn't want Nick Cage in everything? And say what you will about the previous Ghost Rider films, he was the best thing in them. There's also been huge rumors and reports of Norman Reedus taking over the Flaming Skull role, so maybe he could show up in this film as well. But what about Gabriel Luna? He was amazing in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Just do it, Marvel. Just put him in the freaking film. Thor. Tom Hiddleston. There's a rumor that Tom Hiddleston will be playing a variant where he turned into Thor. I'm giving the people what they want. Okay. Superior Iron Man, Tom Cruise. This is a huge, widely reported rumor. It's well known that Marvel wanted Tom Cruise to play the original Iron Man way back in the day, so this would be fitting if he did show up as Superior Iron Man. But will he though? Cruise is notorious for wanting to be heavily involved in the films he's in. Marvel is notorious for having a game plan and making sure certain things are in the film to connect to other MCU films. Combine the two and it sounds like a recipe for disaster. Not to mention Sam Raimi went through so much meddling with Spider-Man 3. I have no intention of settling down. We doubt he would want to deal with that hornet's nest again. But it wouldn't surprise us if Cruz left his ego at the door for a fun time in the MCU. Especially since he could be playing one of the most iconic characters that started the MCU off. Speaking of which... Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. Would this cheapen Robert Downey Jr.'s farewell to the MCU? Who cares, really? That can all be explained through some exposition. It would be cool to see him back. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. Captain America, Chris Evans or Anthony Mackie? If this film is going to have far-reaching consequences, you can bet that Captain America would have to show up. But which one? We don't know. Anthony Mackie is a safe bet. It would be a great tease for Captain America 4. And Chris Evans, well, there's rumors that he'll show up as a variant Captain America, and even an evil Captain America. Hail Andrew. Bruce Campbell. Unknown. Yes, the great Bruce Campbell. Since he's in all of Sam Raimi's films, The Amazing Spider-Man! We knew as soon as Sam Raimi took over that there was a 99% chance Bruce Campbell would be appearing in the film. And we can't wait. What will he be playing, you ask? Here's what Bruce Campbell said. I did a cool scene with a character that's been beloved for years, and we'll have to see what ends up in the movie. I don't know if it's still in there. It's a pretty cool part. Take that statement and add the social media post he put up of himself in a makeup chair with Doctor Strange hair. Yes, with the white streaks and everything. And you wouldn't be wrong in thinking that he was playing some form of Doctor Strange. Keep in mind, he posted this on April 1st. April Fool's Day. It's a trick. Get an axe. If you could like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell to appease the algorithm gods, we would greatly appreciate it. It would also show us that you enjoyed this video we worked hard on. Groovy. What do you think of this list we made? There's a lot more cameos out there. Is there any you think we should have put on this list, or have removed? Let us know in the comments, we do read all of them. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.